your hotkeys and uh, how to use those. Uh, so for me, I only use a few main instructions. Uh, an examine it close, examine it opens, uh, energize outputs, um, you know, we got timers, um, all that sort of good stuff. So um, instead of having to click through with Logix 500, anyone who's used Logix 500 knows that it's kind of annoying to have to click through all these different menus. And you can expand this, but uh, it's, it's just not really an ideal interface for, for finding the instruction you need. So instead we can go up to View, Properties, Quick Key Mapping, and here you can assign all your quick keys. Um, basic ones like T for Timer, um, B for Branch, all that good stuff. And then uh, to use those, you can't just, uh, you know, if I type in like say B for Branch, right? It's just going to type it in like you were putting in uh, 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 structured text code. So instead you have to go to view, you have to go to edit, and uh, then go to quick key mode. And then it'll create a new uh, rung for you right away. Um, it just does that when you turn it on. So for example, if I press control E, the hotkey to turn on and off that mode, um, I'm going to create a new uh, rung every time I turn on and off, right? And then uh, if I press, I'm just pressing T, oops, I turned it off. Uh, so it's on, just press T, right, or even, um, it'll show you up here what you can do, all the ones that you have assigned. So let's say um, I'm going to uh, examine it closed, whatever, and then uh, I'm going to do a timer after that. Oh, oh. Branch around that timer, and then I'm gonna do another same one if closed, and then an output. And now I can go through and assign whatever I need those to be. Um, you know, it's, it anticipates what you want. So let's say it's brand new. Uh, I'm gonna use output zero thirteen, whatever that is, right? So the high level float and then timer. Oh. Uh, ch -ch -ch. So what happened there is I just pressed T. Okay, so as you can see there, if you are not inside um, of a entry box, uh, it's going to assume that you want to use the hotkey and make another one. So uh, yeah, just some things to think about and go through and kind of nice it gives you the uh, the chart up here to say what you've already assigned um, and uh, eventually probably get these um, these little three-letter abbreviations down so you know what they are and you can make use of hotkeys even more